Hey YouTube, this is just a quick response. Um, I seen uh, El Grande Dog and Neo respond to my brother's keeper. I guess uh, it's called What Do You Keep on Your Nightstand? Personal Defense or Your Home. And uh, just uh, I seen a lot of people running Glocks and uh, Glock Model 23, 40 cal. Um, that's what I keep uh, stays on my nightstand I uh, haven't modified the sights or anything um, it uh, I did put this I don't know if you could see it it's a little clip where you can put it on your pants or something if you need to you know it, it actually works pretty good you can put it kind of right around in the front right there Clip it over your belt, pull your shirt down, and usually you carry it pretty good. Um, in the clip, these are Winchester hollow points. I don't know how good you can see that um, for home defense. Even though uh, that's what I keep on one clip. The other clip I keep full metal jackets. Um, a 40 will cut a pretty big hole in somebody. Even a full metal jacket 40 will probably you know cut pretty good size hole in them what um <clears throat> and also want to for extra i know el grande was talking about keeping them out of reach of children uh for extra protection and uh yes i got one in the chamber i gotta show you these guys it's not a live well it is a round but it's not a uh, nothing that could hurt you per se <clears throat> This right here, I don't know if you guys seen it, but uh, what it is is a it's a 40 case and it's got a plastic bullet and it's got a in the middle of there. I'm trying to get it to shine or reflect. It's got a nail and no powder inside and just a primer. The primer hits this, it pushes the little nail thing, which expands the plastic and actually locks your gun up. It can't be used. I'm getting interrupted there. Um, <clears throat> and, um, uh, what it'll do is if you do forget, you know, forget it. I usually keep it in the drawer in my nightstand, but if you do forget, uh, you know, with little, if you have kids running around, if you do forget to put it up or whatever, uh, they press the trigger, primer goes off, uh, the little metal piece moves forward and it actually locks it in your barrel and you actually, it comes with a dowel rod, you push it out. Um, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, in the back of the case, it says Top Brass. I just got it. You can buy two for like 20 bucks, two of these. Put them in your guns. It's an extra safety feature in case, of, you know, a child could get a hold of your gun. And uh, all you have to do with a Glock, as you know, <clears throat> there's no safety. You pretty much got the little double set trigger there. They will not go off. I've dropped this thing. Uh, intentionally and unintentionally to make it go off it doesn't go off another thing about a Glock it's like the AK-47 of uh, semi-automatic handguns uh, you don't have a jam the only time you might have an issue with a Glock is if you hold it very loose in your hand and when the slide comes back with the looseness of your hand pushing up against your hand the slide doesn't activate the whole way other than that if you're holding it firm these things they don't really jam I mean I've I've Got about two or three hundred rounds through this one. I've had it for a while. I don't shoot that much, but um, never had any any issues with it. Let me hurry up because I'm trying to do a quick video. Backup gun, or uh, actually, I carry this gun a whole lot because the Glock's kind of big. Even though I like carrying the Glock, Ruger, Ruger LCP, 380. There's not one in the chamber, but uh, I usually, when I do carry it, I, I chamber one in there and uh, run the hollow points in this. So, a um, few quick things about this gun. Um, to be a small gun, it seemed like it didn't want to cycle good, just cycling around through it. When I first got it, before I ever shot it, I was kind of scared. So, I actually did carry, like Neo, full metal jackets. Uh, after shooting a gun, it hadn't jammed. I've 
probably put a box of shells through it. You know, uh, it doesn't really come with much of sights, but uh, surprisingly a very accurate gun for what its intended purpose is and the short little barrel it's got on it. I don't remember how far away I was shooting. Uh, 20 feet or something. Uh, it probably kept all the rounds within something about this big, so not bad. Not bad without really pretty much just pointing my finger at the target and just squeezing rounds off. So it's uh, quite a very accurate gun to be as little as it is. Way more accurate than this little 25 things that uh, I don't recommend anybody to have a 25 ACP. You're just as good with a 22 pistol as you are a 25 ACP, in my opinion. Personal opinion, no expert. Um, so Ruger LCP, good for women. Uh, I love this gun because I just stick it in my pocket and it's it's teeny tiny. Here's my hand. I have actually not really big hands. Here's a little gun. You can just stick it in your pocket, put your hand in your pocket. You can just grab around it and if you need to, just pull it out. So, Ruger LCP, Glock 23, the safety, safety slug or whatever this thing's called. Uh, I might post it in the description what it's called because I'm going to post this video later on but uh yeah this is this is pretty cool right here because all you have to do again you got you got this in the chamber you got a full clip spit it spit this round out put a shell in the guns ready to roll so another little safety feature for everybody out there I don't know if you can find it in every state but uh pretty cool little deal and of course the big mag light beat somebody in the head over with uh, just a regular mag light you know how bright they are and all that stuff uh, sturdy design you can use it you can actually be up with it like this and whop, whop somebody in the head with it if you have to I guess but if somebody comes in the house like I said this delivered pl plenty of punish punishment another thing uh, about your Glocks or any semi-autos um, this thing holds 13 in the cha in the magazine and one in the chamber, but 13 in the magazine. Uh, I got two clips for this. They came with two clips. Um, don't load your clip all the way. Keep, uh, this one holds 13. I'd say I put 11 in this and one in the gun that makes 12. Uh, reason being, if you're leaving your gun, leaving your clip for a long period of time and you're not shooting and, uh, it's kind of just being stored, but it's got rounds in it. Uh, it gives a little bit of, it doesn't push your spring all the way down. It gives it a little bit of room to breathe, so to speak. And it'll keep your spring from uh, getting weak. Also, what I do about once a week, once a week, I uh, unload them. And just let them, let the, let the spring relax on these and then load them back up. So that's another tip. If you're going to, uh, with Glocks, you can take the clip apart real easy and Put a new spring or whatever you have to do but um, other ones I just I would suggest one or two rounds depending on what your capacity is if you're gonna store ammo in there for a long time don't don't have it all the way down and uh, that's my two cents on the thing I'm no expert just uh, you know got a concealed carry so when I stick the LCP in my pocket it's all good and uh, the Glock is uh, tried and tested I'm pretty sure a lot of people is gonna have some Glocks I'm not really a big fan of XD uh, I think they're copying the Glock and I don't know if they're as good but every commercial you see out there is XD so who knows but uh, like I said Glock very functional a lot of people have them tons of accessories and just a good uh, good carrier personal defense gun and uh, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I figured people's doing them, and actually from all my videos, the ones that I have, since I don't really, I, I had bad luck on posting uh, hunting videos, because I uh, forgot to turn my camera on, didn't have it with me, whatever. Um, the videos that I did with guns, or talked about my guns, I got a lot of hits on, so here's another one, and Genova 68, this is what he's got at his house, and uh, over and out, see y'all later, bye.